Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and let's jump into today's video. So you don't need this program to set these values. You can do it straight in the registry. However, if you've never changed these values before, this program's kind of nice because it allows you to change and immediately apply the settings. And you'll be able to test it out in the little test area down here. The link for this program is down in the description and this is going to affect the response time of your keyboard. So depending on what type of keyboard you already have, this might affect you a lot, it might affect you a little, you might not notice a change. So try it out yourself. So essentially what this is gonna do is change how responsive your keyboard is to when you're pressing buttons and how long the delay is between I'm holding it down and then it repeats. So the repeat delay time is going to be simply how long I have to hold down the key before it starts repeating and the rate is what it's going to repeat at. So like if I change this to, you know, 15,000, you'll see here that I'm holding down the key right now, but it's not repeating. You can get into trouble if you go below like that 150 value I had there. For example, if you're in Fortnite and you're trying to hit the escape button, it's going to repeat so fast that you're going to press escape and it's going to register twice. So I wouldn't recommend going below 150. As you can see, I'm having trouble typing the number back in. And if you've used this program before and you use save to registry and you get an error that pops up, I'll show you why. So if you go to regedit, which runs the registry, if the keyboard response folder doesn't exist, I'll just straight up delete it here. So it's going to be under current user, control panel, accessibility. If you don't have keyboard response here. When you go to apply, you're going to get an error like this. And here's my settings here. And I'll watch if I add a new key, keyboard response. I've added a key, it's completely blank. And now when I go and apply these settings, you'll see that they're already applied in the registry. Now, if you just change these values in the registry itself, it won't change for your keyboard until you actually restart your computer. But if you use the filter keys setter, it allows you to change it immediately, which is good if you're trying to test out different values to use. So as you can see here, we're gonna set the flags to three, bounce time, and delay before acceptance to zero. The repeat rate and the repeat delay is the same thing as the filter setter right here. This is something that's extremely simple, but if you have a long repeat delay or repeat rate that's set in your registry, you're gonna see a big difference with this and your keyboard's gonna feel much more responsive. If you do use your keyboard for typing a lot, I would probably put this at like 250, just because I have it at 150 right now, and when I'm typing in Discord or something, I mess up a lot more than I used to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was short, straight, right to the point. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. Peace out.